Self-expression. COVID was such a gift. Such an absolutely precious gift from the universe, from myself, to myself. In exactly the same way that the accident I had was a gift. I mean, in many ways that was. But among the greatest, we have a gnat friend, among the greatest, perhaps the greatest gift of that experience was how it forced me into presence. I had no choice but to discover presence after that accident. And it was, it was a choice, but the alternative was tremendous suffering, absolutely excruciating suffering. And really it was also helped along by the concussion in that it was a great challenge. There was a period where I could not access future, I could not access past. They simply didn't exist. My mind could not conceive of these things. And then when it started to regain that ability, immediately there was such anxiety present in the contemplation of either future or past. And having been forced into that place of presence, which was a little loopy at the time, I suddenly became aware of it. I suddenly appreciated it. I suddenly realized I had been dwelling in a state of peace. And this return of cognitive function this return of the ability to <laughs> project into a past or future place, the immediate result of that was anxiety. The immediate result, and very visceral, very clearly felt, which I had never been able to notice before, was discomfort, tension, unease. <laughs> and it brought me to the realization of Number one, I don't desire to feel that. I don't want to feel that. And number two, I have a choice. And the choice seems very clear. Don't project into those places. Stay here. Don't think about future. Don't think about past. That creates incredible discomfort. I don't want to feel that and I can choose not to feel that. And so that accident showed me the power and the peace of presence and it has been a practice since then i didn't fully understand it and it has been a journey truly a journey from which i departed from the place of presence significantly and then had been trying to claw my way back and then at last realized i had never left it i had never lost it it had never been anything but mine was always here. It was just that the thinking had been allowed to arise again and cloud it over. And then as all things with the perfect universe, I was led, I led myself back to remembering again, re-realizing that the peace of presence is always here. It's always accessible. And all it takes is to set the mind down. And a powerful method of setting the mind down is re-engaging with the body. That is what it taught me. Engaging feeling. Because feeling and thinking cannot happen simultaneously. It appears so, as it does with multitasking in every other fashion, but there is this micro transition happening between the two. 
The thinking creates a feeling, the feeling is felt, it is then typically thought about, and then because we're thinking about the feeling, we're not actually connecting with the feeling. We're not actually feeling it. We're thinking about it, and then we're just keeping it there. Things that I have learned. And learning that by feeling the present directly, it reveals itself to you. Not by thinking about it, not by conceptualizing it, by becoming one with it, by existing within it, by feeling the presence of self, by deliberately knowing what is directly, choosing to become part of it, to be in it, to be with it, choosing to witness it fully, to invite it to be fully so that it may be experienced fully. In this way, the mind naturally falls away. And even the presence of thought doesn't call one to thinking to the alignment with it. Now we can actually witness the thought as more of what is rather than being aligned with it, pulled in by it, consumed by it, it simply becomes more content. More of what is that can be noticed and felt directly, faced directly, witnessed and allowed. And so what COVID has taught me is stillness. Stillness and presence, they, they go together, of course. So it might be more accurate to say it has taught me better how to allow presence because presence is allowed in stillness. And I do mean the inner stillness. But it is the practice of outer stillness, again, shown to me by this experience of being very sick, that has demonstrated what the inner feels like and helped me to realize truly the power and the pleasance of not doing of non-action, of really, truly, just being. Being very still. Being very quiet. As one who is listening, listening with rapt attention for something that is about to be said. this state it is beyond words words do not travel here it is pure feeling and the feeling speaks the feeling communicates oh it speaks volumes volumes more than words can. This is the state that has been described by every spiritual doctrine in existence. state of open receptivity, of listening with an open heart, of listening with no agenda, no goal, no desire, no purpose. 
just listening. Just the simple joy of being. The power of now, the power of witnessing fully now, of feeling it fully. And when it is felt, it is witnessed with acceptance, because again, judgment resides only in the mind. When we are feeling it directly, it is automatically accepted, but we can enhance then this feeling of witness with the conscious invitation of it. It is the feeling of yes. Be as you are. Be fully as you are. Hold nothing back. Be and let me behold you. In all your naked glory. Feeling this of the moment, feeling this of what is. And feeling the natural arising of awe in it. Marveling in it, in it being so, in it being as it is. In the expanse of it, the unlimited perfection of it, the uniqueness of it. It simply inspires awe. It is simply marveled at and so appreciated. And then there is the realization Next, the feeling, realization, that this moment is considering you the same way. That you have now locked eyes with what is, with the wholeness, the fullness of it. And it is reflecting this very same, very exactly mutual adoration right back to you. It is marveling in you as you are marveling in it. And you feel that. You feel the awe in your form, in your being. You feel the appreciation, you feel the acceptance, the love of yourself exactly as you are. You feel that the moment is beholding you and embracing you in just the same way that it is simply naturally inspired by everything which you are and it is relishing in the witness of your being it is making eyes at you it is coyly head cocked shoulders askew seeing you that very same way and now you are looking at one another and there is nothing more exquisite than this to behold and be beheld it is it is invited into the arms of a lover It is gazing into the eyes of a lover, and that lover is the present moment. That lover is what is. It is seeing as source sees, and by so doing, realizing how it is that source sees you. every single moment, feeling 
that this outpouring of attraction, of desire, of appreciation, of admiration, of unquestioned, absolute, and unconditional love. Love for your being. Your being, exactly that. There is nothing that could change it. It is just relishing and delighting in you. In so witnessing the present moment, which always is and may always be witnessed. So you are witnessed. So you are seen and accepted and loved and feel it. Feel it more viscerally, more fully. than I have ever felt, than can be felt, than it is every bit as real and more. And so it is I have come to realize how much I adore this and so how much I adore being alone because alone I have easy and immediate and infinite access to this. I enjoy being alone because it means I am alone with my lover. <laughs> and it is that very sensation of, finally, it's just us. <laughs> finally, it's just us too. Finally, we get to be alone together, my beloved. And now, how shall we ravish one another? It's exquisite. <laughs> it's, it's exquisite. It's beyond description. It is every bit the same, and more. And so I had the question this morning in my heart of, Do I really want to be with <laughs> with another person? Do I is there truly is this a thing that I think that I want or is this a thing that I actually want? Because this is tremendous. Because this this is what I want. This, the feeling of love, of connection, of support, encouragement, appreciation, attraction, mutual attraction, in exactly mutual reciprocity, I have that. I have it <laughs> right now in this experience. And it's not from imagining. It is not from projecting to some other place. It's from being here. It's from being very present and very real and very much connected with intimately what is, not what might be wanted, not what is desired, not what is dreamed into or envisioned. What is? This is what is. This feeling of love is real right now and it comes from my being present with exactly what is in this moment <laughs> not imagining some other person being fully with myself and with the whole of myself and so there is no limitation certainly there is no limitation. Let the universe surprise and delight me as it always has and always does. But I have this. 
I know this. I know it clearly. And I know there will be times that I forget it. But I know even in the forgetting, the remembering will come quickly. Because even in the moment that I realize I have forgot, I will realize that I have remembered. I will realize again, there is no time. It is simply an illusion. And as there is no time, there is no division between any given moment, this and the next. And so there is no division between the moment of my forgetting, the moment of my remembering. And there it is again, I am back, I am restored in the remembering immediately. Again, it is present again, it is now and again, I am returning to the arms of my lover. Even more pleased and grateful for it, even more potent the feeling because for a moment I had forgotten it and absence has made the heart grow yet fonder. The contrast has given yet more clarity. And so here it is again, and I have yet more appreciation for it. And it is always that accessible. This is a truly powerful thing. This is a truly delightful thing. This is a thing for which there are not words to express my appreciation and gratitude and excitement in discovering this. <laughs> unconditional love becomes yet more unconditional and more and more. And there's the feeling that it will continue to grow only more so. <laughs> so it is I am in love every ounce in love and I need not leave Have a beautiful night.